Imagine a vehicle that can adapt to almost any battlefield need, whether it's carrying soldiers into combat, acting as a mobile command post, or even transforming into a medical rescue unit. This isn't science fiction, it's the Boxer. With cutting-edge technology and a modular design that makes it one of the most versatile military vehicles ever built, the Boxer is rewriting the rules of armored warfare. In this video, we'll dive deep into the fascinating story of how this remarkable machine was developed, why its design is so revolutionary, and how it's helping armies around the world stay ahead. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll understand why the Boxer is being called the future of military mobility. The story of the Boxer begins in the late 1990s. Back then, the militaries of Germany, the United Kingdom, and France were looking for a new type of armored vehicle. They wanted something different, something that wasn't just tough but also flexible enough to perform multiple roles on the battlefield. The idea was simple but ambitious, create one base vehicle that could be customized for many tasks. Instead of building separate vehicles for transporting soldiers, commanding operations, or evacuating the wounded, the plan was to design a single platform. This vehicle would have swappable modules, making it like a military Swiss army knife. At first, it was a team effort. Germany, the UK, and France were working together. But in 1999, France decided to leave the project. They wanted to create their own vehicle, which later became the VBCI. This left Germany and the UK to carry on, and they officially signed a deal to build the new vehicle later that year. Germany named their version the Jepanzerdis Transport Kraftfahrzeug, or GTK for short, while the UK called it the Multi-Role Armored Vehicle, or MRAV. They were aiming for the same goal, a highly flexible vehicle that could adapt to the challenges of modern warfare. Then, in 2001, the Netherlands joined the team. They saw the potential of this groundbreaking vehicle and wanted in on the action. Each country gave the project its own local name, but in 2002, the vehicle was officially given the universal name Boxer. The Boxer wasn't just another armored personnel carrier. It had a unique design based on two main components. First, there was the base hull, which was the core of the vehicle. This was like the skeleton that held everything together. Second, there was the modular mission system. This was the real game changer. Imagine the base hull as a blank canvas and the modular mission system as the paint. Depending on what the military needed, they could add a module for carrying troops, a command post module full of advanced communications gear, or even a module for battlefield medical support. This modular design meant that the same vehicle could switch roles in about an hour. For example, if a boxer was being used to transport soldiers and a battlefield emergency happened, the crew could quickly swap the module to turn it into an ambulance. The boxer's first prototype rolled out in 2002, and it was a German version designed to transport troops. By 2003, the Netherlands had built their own prototype for use as a command post. But by then, the UK decided to leave the project, pursuing their own design under a program called Freeze. Even though the UK left, Germany and the Netherlands pressed forward. They formed a partnership with top defense companies like Rainmetal and Krauss Maffei Wegman. Together, they kept refining the Boxer's design, testing it, and preparing it for production. So what makes the Boxer so special? Let's start with its exterior. At first glance, it looks like many other armored vehicles, with its large wheels and sloped armor. But the details make all the difference. The Boxer has eight massive wheels arranged in four pairs. These wheels aren't just for show, they give the vehicle incredible mobility, even on rough terrain. Plus, the driver can adjust the tire pressure on the go, making it easier to cross soft sand, mud, or rocky ground. Inside, the Boxer is just as impressive. The driver sits in a protected compartment with vision blocks and rear-view cameras to help steer the vehicle. There's even a hatch on top for the commander to get a full 360-degree view of the battlefield. The Boxer is armed to defend itself, too. It can carry a 40mm grenade launcher, a heavy machine gun, or a smaller general-purpose machine gun. What's really cool is that the weapons can be fired from inside the vehicle, keeping the crew safe from enemy fire. But what about the passengers? The Boxer can carry up to eight fully armed soldiers in its troop transport module. They sit face-to-face -face on bench seats, ready to jump into action when the vehicle arrives at its destination. Getting in and out is easy, thanks to a large powered ramp at the back. There's even a smaller emergency hatch for quick escapes. The designers thought of everything, making sure the Boxer could handle the chaos of combat. Another standout feature is the Boxer's protection. Its armor isn't just tough, it's modular too. 
Ceramic plates cover the hull, and additional layers can be added if more protection is needed. This keeps the crew and passengers safe from bullets, artillery fragments, and even landmines. Under the hood, the Boxer is powered by a powerful diesel engine that gives it a top speed of 64 miles per hour and a range of 652 miles. That's like driving from New York to Chicago on a single tank of fuel. Production was delayed due to political and budget issues, but by 2008, the Boxer was finally ready. Germany and the Netherlands started placing orders, and the vehicle began replacing older models like the M113 and the Fuchs in Germany and the YPR 765 in the Netherlands. Today, the Boxer is a key part of many armies. Its modular design makes it adaptable to different roles, from troop transport to medical evacuation to command and control. The Boxer represents the future of armored vehicles, flexible, powerful, and ready for anything. It's a reminder that sometimes the best ideas come from collaboration and thinking outside the box. If you enjoyed learning about the incredible Boxer and want to discover more amazing stories about military technology, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button, share this video with friends, and let us know in the comments what topic you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.